Welcome to YouTube's Excel Lookup Function Series number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, in this number 12, we are going to see something amazing. If we have we have the situation here, we want um, to be able to have a customer walk in and the customer says, I want a boomerang that has a range of 60 meters flight out. And what boomerang can I use? Well, the problem, the way we set up our table, we have the lookup column here, but the item we want to find is to the left. Now, VLOOKUP can't do this. Now, if you just moved it over here, you could use VLOOKUP, but sometimes you can't do that. So we want to be able to see how to look up an item and then look for something and return it from the left side. That's the downside of the VLOOKUP. Earlier, we saw how to do this exact um, thing with the lookup function. Now the lookup function will look to the left, but there's a problem. We saw earlier that you have to have it sorted in ascending order and you cannot find an exact match with lookup function. So there's two problems. Lookup and VLOOKUP have problems doing this to the left. Let me just remind you of the, the lookup equals lookup and the value on a lookup is the 60 meters right here. The uh, vector, <coughs> the vector I want to look up is here, and then comma, and the result vector, which is this right here. Now, you can see this formula right here. That will look something up to the left. See, it found boom four. Uh, if we say uh, 60 meter range, that's boom four. But watch this. When we select 110, when I select from my drop down and get 110, it says boom one. What is that junk? That's because the lookup has to have it in ascending order. There's no way to say, hey, find an exact match. So look, this is what, and this is what we did in the earlier video. We'd have to sort this. So I'm going to just sort, right click sort. You can do that in this version. And you'd have to have this funny situation here where 10 meters and then 110 and 160 and 20. And you might not want that for your list. So the, the, the point here is lookup will not work in some situations and VLOOKUP definitely won't look up something to the left. So let's see how to do this using, and I'm going to control Z, control Z. I'm going to leave that 60 right there. Now we're going to see how to use index and match. I'm going to try and make this a little bit bigger here. All right, you ready? Equals index. Where is the array? The array is right. We want uh, a single array and then row number and column number. If I scroll over here, you can see that we need a column number and a row number and an array. Hey, our array is the lookup right here because we want to find a boomerang in this range right here. All right, so it's just one column. Now, where is the row number? This is where match comes in. We do comma and match. We saw how to do this. This finds the ordinal position uh, from a list. So if I click here and then comma and select this list right here, whoop, right now we have, we're looking something up in a single column with our boomerang names. Here, Match is going to look for the 60 meter uh, description here in the description range. Now we do comma and we want either uh, exact, less than, or greater than. Let's put exact because that's what we want. Okay, and that's all you need. You need the, the column of items for to look up, and then your match to return the ordinal position or relative position from a different list. I'm going to close parentheses and control enter. Look at that. Boom four. Let's try it. Let's go 110. We want a boomerang that goes out 110. Sure enough, it finds the right one here. Eight. So no, 110, that's boomerang eight. But the lookup does not. So that is an amazing little trick to overcome problems. If I can blow this up, I love looking at this formula. It's so great. F2, that formula right there is great because it overcomes the uh, downside of V lookup and lookup. All right, we'll see you next lookup trick.